Hey everybody, thank you for dropping into DeFi Divi. My name is Matthew. Welcome and glad you are here. On this channel, we like to talk about simple crypto passive income strategies that are implemented on blockchains with utility use cases and that solve business problems. If you like that type of content, subscribe here or follow me right down here over at DeFi Divi on Twitter. As always, none of this is investment advice. I'm not an investment advisor. Do your own research outside this channel and everyone's financial situation is unique. So talk to a financial advisor if you can. Uh, okay, so uh, I've been getting a lot of questions in a couple airdrop videos I did about <clears throat> the flare drops. How do they work? Can you compound? All kinds of things. Flare Networks put out a tweet today. Well, it's probably yesterday, it looks like, or maybe even a couple days ago, but I just saw it coming down my Twitter feed and they really have this concise thread. It sums up everything really nicely. So this will answer most of your questions. Yeah, it's exciting. I'm looking forward to the next one. I just bought some more Flare about three or four days ago. Uh, yesterday, I bought some Songbird because the sky is falling. Oh my God, can we, here, let's just take a look at the Songbird price before we do the Flare video. This thing is just tanking so hard and i have no problem with that at all at this time we are at uh, almost point wow we're almost we're getting close we might make it to half a penny and if we do i'm definitely going to buy some more at half a penny if we make it to um 0.3 cents i'm going to buy some more there i'm just buying 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 so um yeah doesn't bother me one bit. This is not financial advice, of course. That doesn't mean you should buy. I, uh, you know, I have money. I can gamble on this. I believe in the project, of course, for a number of reasons. Great community, great team, great tech. I'm a developer. This would be great to build on. So all kinds of stuff here. So, but Songbird, I get it. I get the use case. Some people don't. Some people don't think this token has any value. I think this the price of this will be higher than the price of a flare token in the future for a number of reasons. And maybe I'll do another video completely on that. But exciting for me. I love when things are on sale. So I like that. In fact, the crypto market in and of itself is pretty interesting this weekend. XRP ranging between 44 and 46 cents all weekend. Bitcoin still flirting with 28 again, 28,000. I have a feeling something big is just going to go down next week. I don't know what it is. Maybe another bank issue. Banks can't handle their depositors wanting their money. You know, we don't have that problem with cryptocurrency, do we? Unless, <clears throat> unless we don't have, unless they try and block our access to the fee on, on and off ramps. Anyway, let's get into this. So here's the tweet from Flair that talks about how the, um, how the airdrop, the Flair drop process works. And this will give us some clues into how you can boost your airdrop game, your flare drop game, if you will. And I quote by Flare Networks, wrap, delegate, claim, repeat. With the first flare drop complete and the next not until April 16th, now is a good time for flare holders to remind themselves exactly how the process works and the steps to take. And then there's this flare drop guide. I'll leave a link in the video description. And here's tweet two of number four in the thread. To be eligible for a portion of each monthly flare drop, a wallet must be holding wrapped flare tokens to maximize the compounding effect, FTSO delegation rewards and tokens received from each monthly flare drop can also be wrapped. So you got that? You can get your delegation rewards. You can rewrap and re-delegate those. You can get your monthly flare drop, wrap and delegate that, and now you're getting snapshotted on a bigger amount of wrapped flare, which taught in which the next thread goes into, and I quote three of four, in every 30 day flare drop cycle, the average wrapped flare holdings of a wallet are calculated from three random blocks selected during the final 23 days. The calculation period for flare drop 0.02 commences on March 25th and lasts until tokens can be claimed on April 16th. So there's some key insights right there, some key 
some key pieces of information that can help you sort of implement a strategy to maximize your flair, even outside of compounding and rewrapping and redelegating, right? So you, you have the last flare drop was received on March 17th, right? And the snapshots of the three random blocks happened from March 25th till April 16th. Like they said, it's during the final 23 days of each 30 day period. So that means that gives you seven days, those first seven days after you receive a drop. So let's say from March 18th to the 25th to kind of play around and do whatever you want. So if you're, you know, an active trader and you see some sort of opportunities, you might be able to trade in and out of flair or, you know, maybe do something somewhere else and then come back into it, rewrap and redelegate, and you'll still qualify for all the snapshots. So that's one way. I wouldn't call that crypto passive income. Now you're taking a much more active role, but it is something you can think about if you're into that. Uh, I, that's not the way I'm doing this with Flare. I just wrap, delegate, and let it do its thing. Now, if I was taking a more active role, could I possibly be making even more Flare under the hood? Yes, and I do have small bags of Flare that I'll uh, wrap Flare that you know, sometimes I use in DeFi protocols and I play around there and I do that also with other blockchains. But for me, I like the simple wrap, delegate, claim, repeat strategy. Just so you know, there's a window there where you won't be affected. You'll still get all the compounding as long as you are in there from the final 23 days of the 30 day period. So in this case, March 25th, which would be this video drops on, I believe, March 27th, which would be Monday. I'm recording this a day before, so that's two days after the 25th, which was, uh, what was it, Friday? Friday? Yeah, I think it's Friday. Anyway, sorry, a little hungover, but you get the idea. You have a little window there. Play around with it. Have fun. Uh, and then the tweet four of four, and I quote, remember to claim flare drop tokens within 67 days or simply activate the auto claiming feature. Instructions are available here. And so you can auto claim or just remember to claim every 67 days. So I don't do auto claim right now. I'm just doing a manual claim in my Bifrost wallet, which is really easy. I have a, the last video I put out on flare drops. I showed you where to do that. It's pretty intuitive. Many of you watching this video probably already know how to do that right now. Um, here is a video as well. It looks like it's hot, or not video. Here is a um, auto claiming available on Flare blog post. I will put a link to this as well. But basically, there's places in your wallets where you can go in. Like here's an example right here. And you would just set your auto claiming feature to true right here. Just click that and you are you are auto claiming. And then it talks about why. Why use auto claiming? And I quote, assigning an executor to automatically claim tokens has several benefits. Set and forget, right? You can set it. You don't have to worry about forgetting to claim after the 67 day period. Save time. I mean, it only takes me really maybe 30 seconds to a minute to claim, but yeah, you know what? You save that time anyways. You might, who knows? Who knows how busy you could be? Uh, maximize compounding. Again, you can maximize compounding by just not auto claiming as well, as long as you are on top of it and avoid unnecessary cold wallet exposure. Yeah. So, you know, the less you are connected to the internet with your private keys doing work under the hood, the less uh, exposure you have to any risks being out, you know, bad things happening. So there you go. And then there's a video on how to set it up in Bifrost here as well on this page. So I'll leave a link to this in the video description so you can easily set up auto claiming if you are interested. I have a, a great memory for this stuff right now. So I haven't, I'm not auto claiming anything. And I'm not sure if there's a fee for auto claiming, but it's probably small if there is, and I'm sure it's worth paying. I would pay for it if I, for example, had trouble remembering and I really wanted to set it and forget it solution. So that's up to you if you want to use that. But so I hope that helps answer some questions. I'm going to keep this one short and sweet. 
I hope you are having an amazing week and that this video finds you well, and I will see you in the next one.